that was a short version of Leo Kotke's First to Go. The longer version is simply play what I've played twice. So then you reach a 50 minute mark. Uh, so I kept it short and played the whole song just once. Please do open the video description below. There's a link to free tap and a bunch of uh, other interesting stuff. So I don't have to talk much about other things than the lesson. I numbered the lines in the tab. So the first page has 10 lines. You have to add those numbers yourself. And the second page, four lines. And I'll teach line by line. We're in drop D tuning. And the piece is played rubato, it means <clears throat> you can allot time to certain measures or uh, beats longer than is written. So here's the introduction. And you see in the tap the second measure in the first line, for example, where I play this, there's a circle around the numbers, it means let it ring as long as possible. So we're simply sliding down, double stops, and I use index and middle finger to pick those strings. I use a temp wrap here, and you can use your index, of course, or other fingers. Fingering is something personal. Do whatever works for you, if something, what I do, is not uh, to your liking. So that was the first line, and notice the muting of that fifth string there. I mute with the temp, and Leo does that a lot of times. Send then the second line. Again, I'm using my index, uh, sorry, my pinky and third finger to do those slides. I think I've seen a, a live version of Leo and he uses his index to do that slide. So, that's a possibility. So, slide, down, no picking. So, slide up, no picking, down, and then the open string. Also, the, the slide here, there's pick once and then slide. beat is only in three quarters uh, and it's a bass note for every uh, there we go. and let that ring and I use three fingers here one for each string so the ring finger for the first string middle finger for the second string and index for the third string So that was the second line. Here's the third line. Sorry. So I'll play that um, from the second line, last beat. Then it's in. Uh, is the full phrase. And notice the bass strings I'm using kind of rest stroke here. So I'm not doing like that, but and the easiest thing to fret those first, second, 
second and third string on the second fret is like the A carboy chord, pinky, second finger and third finger. So you have your you have your index free there to play those bass notes. That's line four. And that bass, that slide, the first note of the fourth line, is again, you play the open string, the last uh, beat of the third line, last note, and then the slide. That's a quick uh, movement there. Try so that it, to pick those strings evenly so that you have a full sound there. My nail on my ring finger is a bit longer because the finger is much somewhat shorter. So that, that I get the full sound. And sometimes you can do an arpeggio. That's your choice, of course. The fifth line. In the tap it says, but I use hammer rolls and slides. And those I simply fret um, an E minor chord here, and that makes things easier, and a time prep for the second fret of the sixth string. And here I pick temp, index, middle. And then we're sliding. To the ninth fret. So we're on uh, the second measure of line five. And barring the first three strings. So one more time that line five. And I do that with the temp. And you see, and Leo has the same sound, I think. <clears throat> I can play with flesh and slightly tilt my temp and play with nails and flesh. And it depends on how you file your uh, nail. Everybody has different temp, so uh, that could be different in your case, according to the shape of your temp nail. five once more. So that's the second ending, the second bar of line six. So harmonics, that's that uh, Well, that, that sign that goes like this over uh, the 12th fret. And then I do a little bend here. Slide down. And then we're coming to a lot of harmonics there. Fifth fret, sixth string, let it ring. And then it's one and two and so you hit it only once. All right, one more time that line six. I think I played in the performance. This guitar doesn't, if I slide back on the bass, it's not really clear. 
So I played. And then the second ending is. And then we have that. And here's line seven. And that's, of course, the most unusual part of the song. Those harmonics and slides. So, line seven, we have let it ring. And you can e either play the harmonics with your temp or temp and index in the middle or whatever other combination, as long as they ring nicely clear. A very little rest there, and then harmonics at 12th fret. And then try to go to your nuts and then slide up and down. Like that. If you don't go to the nut, then you, you're killing the sound immediately. And if you go to the nut, or try to go, then you will notice that that sound, that sliding sound, is more obvious. And it's also important that you try as lightly as possible. If I keep my finger like this, you see? But if you go like that, just lightly, the harmonics are more loud, and especially here. And here, I'm playing to the first, second, and third string. The harmonics, <clears throat> last measure of line seven, and I slide two fingers, and I add the third finger to the third string, and I'm sliding up like this, and sliding down only with my two fingers on the first and the second string. So that's it for line 7, and in line 8 we have... So that's the first ending, and then we play again. So that we did in uh, the first bar of line 8, and then we're going... We're going to half uh, of line 6 starting with the last uh, measure there. And then we have a variation which you find on line 10. And again. It's also important that um, line 7, where you see, where I, just a beat before, the harmonics on the 12th fret, we have that, there's a little sign like that above. It means cut it short, mute it, don't let it ring, don't do that. So we have. Like that. So the first ending, line 8, was... And so on, and the second ending, starts there. So the second ending. Very fast pull-offs. So. Bar and put your pinky on the fifth fret first string. First beat of the B part, and then the ninth line. Sorry. 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 
So once more from the second ending of line eight. And notice that you keep your pinky on the fifth fret while you go. A bit of a stretch, but it's doable. Relax your hand. That's very important. Relax your left hand. Don't tense up because then you make things difficult for yourself. That last slide, seventh fret, ninth fret, sixth fret, and then the introduction to the C part, which starts on page two, first line. So we have. So first line of C. Now, this is also, I think, together with the harmonics thing, the diff most difficult part of the song. <clears throat> and you go, you hit it only once, and slide down, 7th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and then you form the chord. And and the difficult part is, of course, adding those bass strings. And notice the bass string, you have the open fourth string when you reach the five. So try to practice first that. So that when that is in your head and in your fingers, it will be easier to add the bass. difficult to do slow. So when you Followed that um, that run by the temp rap and, and bar. Sorry, no, not bar. Just the second fret of the third string. And now bar. That's the second line and the first ending of the C part. So and then you have the choice you can do or and you see there's a fermata above the seventh and you can uh, let it ring as long as you want of course there. Yeah. Second ending. The difference is that the open, we're not, not barring here, but the open third string. And that 
that's the seventh ending in line three. And then we're sliding down and open second string and then we're playing the B part again. And instead of going now I'm sliding to the 14th frets, which you see as the first bar of line 4 on the second page. And I'm doing... Um, and then I go, because I have a 12th fret guitar, normally with a 14th fret guitar, I would, I would slide to the 14th fret like that, but now I'm... and I pick again the 14th fret. And then you play the introduction again, well, then you start. You do the whole thing once over and uh, if you've done that, also ending on the 14th fret there, then you go back to the introduction. Now you go to the last line in page 4 and slow down. So that's it for first to go. Very interesting tune. Uh, and listen to all the other tunes of that CD, A Shout Towards New. It was sort of a, a new beginning for Leo Kotke.